Hey guys, it's Chad. I want to show you real quick in this video um, some of the awesome updates here in Mosaic version 13.1. How easily it is now to add multiple inserts to an opening. And even in this video, I want to show you kind of a hack I've made to add inserts to panel backs. So you don't actually have to have a cabinet, so to say, to create this look. Let's get into it. Just go to your interior, go down to inserts. In my retro library here, I can go to like shiplap mid and we can create these grooves. The center line always puts it to the top, split half on top. In version 13.1, you can add the insert and then go to section split here and split it as many ways as you'd like with a separator. Just go 13 and boom, there we go. Again, for this insert, you don't need the top one, but you can check another video for that or how you use these libraries. But that's how easy this is now in 13.1 to add multiple inserts at once. Maybe in this video, what I'm most excited about maybe is the hack I came up with to create these inserts without using a whole cabinet, or at least it doesn't look that way. You see how powerful this is. Let's take a look at what I have here. I've created a shiplap back, a base, and I've created a wall. You can see here I have stretching on height and width. The depth, you don't want to be any deeper than your panel. And the real trick of this is coming up with a case template for your materials that has the right materials. It's only showing the back here, but in reality, I'm technically building a top, bottom, left, right, and a back. The trick here is, if I go to my material templates, and if I go onto that template, ship lap back, I'm using this, I'm using a, a trigger material. So a material that is 0 0.002 thick, seems to be the magic number here. Create a template with a material that's 0 0.002 and use that material for your top, bottom, finished end, unfinished end, and applied unfinished end. Everything else I have set to a nothing material, which is a zero thickness. And then your back, just whatever you want for your back material. So you can see down here in my materials library, here's my zero template trigger. The thickness here, I have 0 0.002. So I tried this at 0 0.001 and it didn't always work to have the insert show up. 0 0.002 seemed to be the magic number here. Also, I recommend adding a nothing material and that's just a material that has zero thickness. Then all you do, let me delete this, is I've created these two things here. I put in my frameless library, panel backs. Shiplap, whoops, there's a wall and a shiplap base. Let's open one of these up here. Take a look. What you want to do is go to your parameters and pull in these parameters for the base. And this is in version 13.1. If you're in an older version, you may not have all these parameters. Some of these have been added in 13.1. So you have your plant on backs and then all your dados you're turning off, turning off your hardware legs. That's for the base. For the wall, it's going to be a little bit different, different parameters, plant on backs. And then you're going to have these wall dados you want zero. So you can go ahead and do this. What you want to do is you want to save that material library to your case. And you can just go ahead and save that to your library. So let's show quick how you add, let's just say some vertical paneling, some wainscot here. Open up your shiplap base. Interior, a little confusing here. Now at the bottom, click this. Let's open our library here. And I'm going to go to a base frameless, vertical. I'm gonna go to the center line, so. Check out the other videos if you need to, but it's always gonna snap to the right side. So you can see there it's half on. So what we're gonna do here now is simply just go to the section split, vertical, and then as many as many uh, separators as you want here. Let's just do, let's do 22. And there you go. There's one thing to keep in mind now. And I turned on decimals to see this. So. This is a 96 inch cabinet. And you can see here I have two thousands on either side I'm losing. So 0 0.002, 0 0.002, that's why I'm down to 996. That should be uh, tight enough for most people, but same thing here, 0.996. So if you need that extra four thousands, you can always add it to your height and width. Same thing for the top or the wall. Let's try that here. Interior, select that. I have a mid there. Just for now, let's just, let's just try the mid. I'll show you. Let's just go, go 15. The mid one is going to split it in the middle. Of course, you can just pull this 
stretch it out to your wall, whatever you want to cover. And there you go. If you didn't want that split to break in the middle, if you don't want the break in the middle of the separator, just go back and clear it out. In this library, you'll have to go to the shiplap center line. This is version two. And go ahead to your section split. We're doing a horizontal for shiplap. Separator, just go 15 again. And there we go. On this one, remember, if you're doing the center line, you have to eliminate the top insert. Just go to the top, press clear. And that's all good. You have any questions? So I'll show you a little bit of the secret here. Go to your depth. Just make the depth 15, and there you are. So that's what Mosaic thinks is happening there. It's creating that material with 0.002 thickness. As soon as I drop it down to the depth, it just goes away because it knows it's not making that material. You can see here it's trying to pull those up. And there you go. So that's the trick. So yeah, this is gonna open up a lot of opportunities for uh, adding wall paneling. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like the video. Thanks again, guys. Adios.